What's up, invisible people? My name's Cyclonic Wolfos, and we're. And back at you with another episode of our Great Sword Only Monster Hunter Challenge Run. Last time we beat Kushala de Aura, and we're taking on Teostra today. We're taking on Teostra. It should be a lot of fun. We've stocked up on items and such all of, in between episodes on the Twitch side, so the Twitch side got to see some grinding. But we got our items stocked up and ready to go for the next set. So we're gonna fall to Yostra. Hmm. It's like a fruit pie. You just said it's meaty. Fruit is not meaty. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you're the only one that thinks that way. I'm sorry. Yeah, but. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. We're at the last three main quests for Bit World. And then once we switch over, we need these, we'll be an Iceborne. Iceborne is finally here. Almost there, though. Halfway there. Whoa, whoa. Alright, stocking up these items. Um, I'm gonna keep the flash bugs. I don't need the manhigora, I don't need the nitro shrooms, I don't need the bitter bug, I don't need the sleep herbs, I don't need the thunder bug. And keep the honey on me just in case. Keep that on me. Uh, where's my adamants? Did I eat all my adamants? I did not, okay. Alright, screamer pods are for Diablo's things. Let's grab more honey. Uh, more herbs so we can make infinite potions and such. And I'm gonna need more uh, of the flash books. There we go. There we go. We got all the flesh and stuff we can do. Let's, I forgot we have to eat still. It's an elemental resistance, so that might help, actually, this fight. I might do the mate platter. Unpredictable. Oh, uh, no. Chef's choice would help with elemental, but he doesn't do too much elemental. Tech up! Or elemental resist up. Hmm. I don't want to do the melee and provoker, though, so... Though it's one of the daily things. Oof. Alright, I'm gonna go with the elemental. That way we can get full health. Full health! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Depart. Alright. You guys get to see the cutscene of the Teostra. So, there's that. This one is the Wild Spire Waste. Yeah, yeah. I forget that it likes to do the wild spire for this one. It's the other one. Oh, it's here. Alright. Yeah, that's right. I know where to go. I thought it was in the wild spire. Oh, that's right. The Vol is the only one that isn't here. That's right. Now this is what I was born to do. You were born to try? Just watching him is getting me pumped too. Getting me pumped, eh? Also, we can grab these two flash bugs on the way and finish up our flash bugs while we're heading to the Teostra. So we're almost there to Teostra. I know where it spawns. I just had to think about it for a minute there. But yeah, now we're max flash bugs, so we got. I'm gonna set up the flash pods just in case it wants the supernova right off the bat. Supernovas are a pain in the butt. Right, because it goes there to sleep. All right, here we go, guys. Going for it. See, now this area is open. Oh, this is a fun area to fight in, by the way. There we go. This is where it takes a nap. He knows I'm here. Hello there. Yes. 
Say hello to the Ostra. Yep. But this is a fun fight. was not moving for a minute there. I did some damage, so we're good. I need to get my potions lined up. And this is why I said he's a pain in the butt. Also, I got stunned because he ran into me. Mm, he has a cool theme, though. fighting here still. Ow. This is one of the worst areas to fight him in. This is home world. Come here. He's getting ready to- he's getting close to being charged up for the supernova though, so. You just have to pay attention to what he does. Cause once he flies in the air, not like that obviously. Once he flies in the air, his supernova's pain. Ah, I'm stunned. I'm stunned in one of the worst spots ever. He's getting really amped up. I gotta pay attention to him. So if you don't pay attention, he does this sky thing to get the supernova. That thing. That thing. What he was about to do? He was about to do supernova. And that does a lot of damage. The supernova. I'm pretty sure it one-shot me, if I think about it. It used to one-shot me all the time. Of course I missed. So he goes up on his hind legs. Get me out of there. Get me out of there. Ow. I'm stunned. Do not fire blast me. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that. I can live that one. Sixty-nine damage, nice. Not really, but hey. I'd like to be doing more of them, but hey. Ninety-six is good. Tail whip, ow! But yeah, that's why we keep our flash pods ready for that exact moment when he goes to go do the supernova. Alright, come here, Lester Lion. Will you climb the rock? Haha! -ha. He 
got that mount. Move. He does have a cool move, that strat, though. Down the guy and goes. Sixty-nine, nice. Not really. I like to do a lot more to this dude. Yeah, that's for trying the roar on me, man. Are you leaving the area finally? Okay, cool. I like how he just looks at me like, I hate you. Sharpen, grab our might seed or adamant seed, and we should be going good. We should be going good. Alright, we only had to use one flash pod so far. Because he doesn't fly as much, he fights on the ground more. Whereas Kushal and Neora likes to fight in the sky. We really only need the flash pods for when uh, Teoster likes to do its supernova. So. Bomb in the face. Yeah, I'm staying out of your bomb range. I wasted a potion there, but it's fine. I'd rather have a, a no potion than dead. Alright, are you gonna get in there and fly? Not yet. Tail weep, but it's tail weep. I'm keeping an eye on you, Mr. Teostra. I'm waiting for you to tell you you're flying. You're supernova. Ah, oh, nice hit. Dang it, that was not a nice hit. Nope! Ow, that was not nice. That was not nice, Mr. Teostra lion thing. Big explosive lion, no fun. Aw, uh, you roared when at least it made me lose my potion. Yeah, he's on fire! I'm waiting for him to get ready to do a supernova. So he's gonna do it soon. Aha! Uh -huh. I know you were flying, but hey. Take that in the tail. He's angry. Alright. You gonna fly up yet? Come on, I know you wanna do it. I know you wanna do it. Come on, do it so I can knock you out of the sky again. Sir. Oh yeah. I oh, know. Stop your flamethrower. Will you stop chasing me down? I just barely dodged that supernova, by the way, guys. Just saying. 
Uh, that was scary. It's like, I'm out! I can see you doing it in the background. I don't have any way to stop it. Leave me alone! You can't get me right here unless you fire beam me. Honestly, I did not know you could do that. Uh, don't roar at me, I need my cool drink. So I'm burning up. I need to make more uh, potions. Will you stop roaring at me, man? Four mega potions are the play. There we go. Ah, you butt. Hey, you. Did I say you're allowed to leave? No. But I'm not fighting you here, man. Oh! Will you let me out the hallway? Dodge your tail. My game, Little Girl Chronicle. How are you doing? Come on, get over here. <laughs> bombed in the butt. How do you like getting bombed, huh? Huh? Good, hon. How are you? How are you doing? I'm glad you're doing good. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, he missed. He wolfed it. Dang it! That's gonna hurt! I'm dead! I'm dead! I lived it! Oh, that was bruh. Like, I'm dead. I had no way to counter that. Wish this game had crossplay. Yeah, the cross platform would be nice. 
Because I'm on the PS4. I would have switched to uh, a PC a long time ago if that happened. The PC has a lot better updates and stuff, but... I know all my friends, uh, they got the game. I own it on both, except for PC, lol. I would I have to buy it again for PC, but I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. Ow! Xbox and you own it on a PlayStation. Is that what you're saying since you said you don't have it on PC? He's limping! Limpy boy! Yes, I am. Noise. Where are you going? It's not the way to your nest, man. Uh, snapping turtles out of on Xbox. Noise. I've never owned on anything but PlayStation. Cause I, when it came out, when it, I pre-ordered the special PS4 Pro that came with it. So that's what I have. So that's how old my PS4 is. Oh nice, yeah. I mean if, um, if I show you that, that's the controller I use all the time is my Monster Hunter 1. Alright. Monster Hunter controller. It's really got. It's really nice. I like it. Yeah, it's really nice. I love the design on it. That's one of the reasons why I wanted it. Like that. All right. Did I already eat that? Yeah, I already did that. I need this one. There we go. But he limpy boy. We're getting close to killing it. So. Mm -mm. This should do a lot of damage. Haha! -ha! Yeah, we're really close to killing it. You can only break its part when it's three fourths of the way dead. Uh, hi, Dewey! Right in the face. Always feels good, LOL. Not for him, it doesn't. Ah, you expletive! Scar, at least you've been in my real good name. Ah. You're gonna die, man. Yep, told you he was gonna die. I'm like, you're gonna die, man. Right in the face. Thank you for the host, by the way, too. Yeah, appreciate it. Boom! Yeah, Teostra's actually... I think it, I might even say it was a little easier than, um... Uh, Kushala. After that. You just have to know its attacking patterns. But yeah. So you've never played Skyrim. Any particular reason why, though, TV? Kushala's free, lol. Yeah, Kushala's really easy. That's why I did him first, because I knew he was going to be really easy. I only needed to use three of my flash pods for this dude, so. We got our flash pods for Valhazak. That's our next one on the list. This one's a, not as long as, uh, it's actually about the same length as the previous episode, so. I CBA for it? What? Can't buy? What? I don't know what that stands for, Tui. I don't mock go with that, so. Can't be arsed. Arsk. You can't be arsk. Why can't you be that? You don't like it? Arsk. I love this music. 
Oh, it's got really good music in the game. Also, I didn't die at all either. Two for two, guys. Two for two. I didn't die. I did not die on that mission. Let's go. Can't wait for World 2. I don't know if they'll ever make a World 2. Uh, I don't know if they'll ever make a World 2. The only thing that really keeps me into Monster Hunter is all the lore around the monsters and such. Because I love learning the lore behind all the monsters. I'm a huge uh, lore and uh, theory person. I swear, it's already announced. Yeah, but you know how the world is, too. They announce a lot of things, and then they cancel them. Uh, oh, let me see. Alrighty. Alrighty. Fine work. By the way. Uh, discussed it with them with times now. The demo that the dragons are about even though we got rid of Nergigante, the only thing we can seem to agree on is something extremely out of the ordinary must be unfolding. Which means there must be something causing it, even if we haven't been able to finish it. So that's the reason why the Elder Dragons are regrouping the Elder Dragons and sustain its disperses. So there's something there. I wonder. And if so, perhaps it could be what my friend is searching for all this time. Alright, we completed those two quests. And we will take on the Valhazok. And the next episode, though, guys, this one's about a decent length of the episode, though, so it's a little, it's not as short as the previous one, still a little bit shorter than normal ones, but uh, not Monster Hunter. This game is the best selling Capcom title ever. Yeah, it was really good when it came out, too. But that's where we're gonna wrap up the episode today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to leave a like if you like what you see. Subscribe for more content from everybody around here, not just me, obviously, because I'm still fairly new to this channel. And everybody around this channel is doing amazing content, so I'd appreciate if you check out everybody around here. But for now, this is your girl, Cyclone and Quofos, signing off. Stay safe, keep howling, and stay furious, my friends. Bye!